Hi everyone, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. If you do subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click on the notification button or the little bell in the corner. If you would like a reading from me, please go to the link below. You will go to my new website and you can book a reading there and potentially subscribe if you would like to. I will be posting more blogs and adding more content as each uh, week or two passes. So right now it's in its infancy stages, but it is worth it, okay? Uh, I am going to be doing the B Weekly reading, which is from November 15th until December 1st for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you have a Venus or Mars in any of these water signs in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, guys, I am in my new office. It's not set up completely yet, and there is a little bit of an echo, but it works. So I apologize for the echo. Um, I just want to make sure that I am getting these readings out to you guys in a efficient manner. And so I decided to go ahead and do these readings in my new office. All right, we are going to start out with the beautiful Pisceans. Hi, Pisces. Welcome, my mermaids and my mermen. How are you? All right, guys, I will tell you this right now. When I first did, um, when I first started not recording the video, but talking as if I was recording, I wasn't really recording. Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but um, I already pulled your cards and I did the same thing. Um, well, with Capricorn, it was different. Capricorn is where um, there was something going on with the video and it was messed up and I had to keep their cards too. You guys know I like to uh, shuffle my cards live but I am keeping these cards because uh, these cards really do tell a great story. And I will pull an extra card for Pisces because I want you guys to know that I am, you know, um, not like pre-selecting these cards because I just don't do that. I don't believe in it, but I'm not going to reshuffle because I believe that this message is significant for Pisces out there. Pisces, what you have going on as your general energy is the door to personal healing and happiness. When you have the door to personal healing and happiness, you need to heal yourself. You need to heal your body. You need to heal your mind. Okay. Something going on here regarding um, also uh, gay, lesbian, um, uh, transgender people as well. If there is, and even straight people. So if you have a friend that has a different proclivity than you and you haven't talked to them in a long time, you may want to reach out to them because there could they could be going through some sort of change in their life and they want to tell you about it or they want you to approach them and ask them about it. So just be aware of that. This is also um, a door. You are being welcomed into some area of your life. You could be welcomed into a new job, welcomed into a new relationship, welcomed into um, somebody's family. You could be welcomed um, as it relates to uh, school or whatever, but there is this personal healing and happiness that is around you, which is absolutely beautiful. There could be something significant as it relates to your home, your castle being located somewhere else. So for some of you Pisceans out there, you might be moving, okay? Just make sure that when you do this, you're doing it for the right reasons and you're not trying to manipulate energies. You're just doing it to live in your happiness, to be happy and to be healthy. And that is what is most important. All right, so be aware of that. So how are these energies manifesting? What is it that happened in the past that is making these energies apparent now? It is the man holding a heart. When you have a man holding the heart, and this is all about a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Piscean person that is showing great love to you, is showing you happiness, is showing you healing, is showing you abundance and love. This does not have to be a man. It could be a woman. It could be a friend. It doesn't have to be somebody that you are in a relationship with. But there is somebody here that is showing you love, compassion, kindness, that wants to bring you into the fold, that wants to make you part of the family. So that is definitely what is going on here. The other thing that um, I picked up earlier, and I'm gonna say it again here, was that there is something about needing to be armed with information. So something could be going on, Pisces, where somebody is arming themselves with information about you. You could be arming yourself with information about somebody else. 
the ultimate goal or the ultimate outcome of this information depends on how you have been um, uh, conducting yourself. If you've been conducting yourself with love, compassion, and kindness, the result will be good and honesty. If you have been conducting yourself with manipulation, lies, deceit, trying to get one over on somebody or trying to control somebody, the outcome will not be good. This could be where if information is found out about you that is not good, then it could be where somebody walks away from you, okay? If it is good, then they walk towards you or vice versa. So just be aware of that particular type of energy. So what is the advice regarding this energy or what is the extra information regarding this energy for the next couple weeks? It is the Six of Cups. Pisces, children play a significant role in your life. You might have children coming to visit you. Um, children may be coming up to you and saying how much they love you. Oh, mommy, I love you. Auntie, I love you. Daddy, I love you. This could definitely be coming up here. There is a need for Pisces out there to put their boundaries up and to make sure that they are not giving energy to something that does not deserve their energy. The other thing that this is, this is like beauty and the beast energy. This could be a situation where you could be um, in a relationship where maybe you're ready for a relationship and the other person is not ready, where you may not be ready for a relationship, but the other person is ready. This is where your timelines are off. This is what you have to accept about this next coming two weeks. Somebody might be coming up to you and saying, you know what, I love you as a friend, I love you as a confidant, but I am not interested in you in that way, in a loving uh, bond, marriage, engagement way, okay? For others of you, you might be telling that to someone else. You might be saying, you know what, all I care about is my career right now, I don't have time for a relationship. That could be the energy going on. If there is something happening, um, you know, with an offer, with a proposal, whatever, you may want to accept and that's fine. But if you accept, please make sure that people around you that have been interested in you, that uh, need to know what's going on in your life, that need to understand where you're at in life right now, that you let them know you have disclosure. It's important to have disclosure with people that you love and it's important for people that you love to have disclosure with you. But overall, this really is beautiful energy. There could be a woman um, with red hair that is of great significance in your life right now, Pisces, so please be aware of that. Um, your timelines might be a little bit off. Um, there, could be, um, there could be some change or some shift happening you know, here in the next couple weeks regarding your um, your relationship with this woman. Um, it could also be a man um, with like reddish brown hair or you know just brown hair, curly hair, whatever. but um, it could be that person too where your your timelines are just a little bit off. You have to accept this. All right, Pisces, sometimes it's hard to do that. You have to accept it. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It means that they've not healed themselves yet. You haven't healed yourself yet, okay? For some of you, you may get the need or feel the need to move to a distant location, and it could be that your soulmate is calling you to this distant location because you're about to meet the love of your life there. So that could be what's going on here, but there's great support at work. People are welcoming you in with open arms. There is love and there's compassion, there's abundance and there's kindness. So what do, I'm gonna pull an extra card here for Pisces. So what, what is the other card for Pisces? So you guys know that I don't pre-select these cards. Okay, what do we got going on Pisces? I'm gonna cut the deck and here it is. So what is the extra energy Pisces? Ah, here it is. Seven of Pentacles. Look at that lady. She's got that huge dragon behind her and it looks like she's guarding a door. So Pisces, something is going on here. And this is exactly what I was picking up earlier 
when I said that somebody's armed with information that maybe you didn't know they found out about, or maybe you're armed with information that they didn't know that you had, something is going in here and, and they're saying, you know what, you're gonna have to pass a series of tests before you're welcomed into this realm. And even if I let you in, can you beat the dragon behind me? Because it will rip you to shreds unless I tell it not to. Okay, so there's something about the Piscean energy right now where you have got to be patient. You have got to put the right energy into a relationship. If you're trying to manipulate, coerce, or lie, or deceive somebody, then that is the energy that you're putting out there. Okay, and you're going to be surrounded by it. You cannot do that. You know, Pisces, amongst a lot of signs out there, get instant karma. That's what happens with Piscean people because they're so connected to um, their higher selves. Okay, so I'm just sensing for a lot of Pisceans out there, don't stalk, don't um, try to manipulate situations, manipulate energies, don't try to be something you're not. This person is going to pick up on it. Um, they know about it. They know, um, you know, they're basically saying, I, if, if they pass the test, they're in and I will welcome them in and they're going to be my friend or they're going to be my lover, whatever it is, or, or my coworker. If you don't pass the test, you will not get in. That is important. So it's important to be truthful and honest in all of your dealings. Okay. So please be aware of that. Make sure that you are planting seeds in a well soiled ground and you tend to those seeds so that you what comes to fruition is what you've planted because remember if you planted deceit and lies and, and coercing people you're going to get more of it if you've planted with love kindness compassion and uh, awareness and acceptance of the fact that maybe perhaps even though you love one another it's just not the right time you need to be okay with getting up and saying all right this may not be where my destiny lies. I am going to go someplace else. So that could be what is going on here, Pisceans. All right, Pisces, I hope you like this reading. Now, this could also be you, Pisces, where you are saying access denied to somebody else. Um, they have not proven themselves to you. And now you're saying, if I let you in, it's not going to be easy. It will not be easy. I'll be kind. I'll be loving to you, but my eyes are wide open. All right. So Pisces, you do have Saturn going from your 10th house into your 11th house, your 10th house of Sagittarius. All right. Status and career. You've been put through the ringer in this particular area of your life. Get this house straight. Very important. Some of you might have a big, big, like abundant bonus like when Saturn leaves if you've been you know doing your best okay it moves into your 11th house of hopes wishes dreams goals networks and associations this is where it's going to test you you've got to be on your game Pisces be aware of that it moves on December 20th you've got a month to get your 10th house figured out and fixed and then it moves into your 11th for another set of tests remember if your 10th house is a mess, Saturn will repeat these lessons to you for the next 16 to 18 years of your life. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. What are the general energies for Cancerians? What are the general energies for Cancerians? The general energies and the energies that are affecting or um, allow these uh, general energies to manifest. Cancerians. Okay, good. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the deck. I do not look at the cards. There's your general energy. And there is the um, energies that made those general energies manifest. And I'm using the Barbieri Tarot for the clarifying energy, the 
advice energy or what needs to be accepted energy. Cancerians, 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 Cancerians. Okay, here we go, Cancers. There it is. All right. So, Cancers, what's going on with your general energies for the next couple weeks? You do have blossoming abundance. This is beautiful, Cancers. Cancers, you could be getting a raise at work. You could be um, getting... Um, a windfall of some kind, you might feel like your life is just abundant and everything is working out in your favor. Keep that energy going. For others of you Cancerians out there, there might be something around you that's getting a little bit out of control. There might be too many things on your plate that you need to take care of. Just do it one by one by one, Cancer. You will get through this. Not a problem, okay? but I am sensing a raise. I am sensing abundance in love. I am sensing a really good, strong family life. Um, a lot of activity. I'm getting a lot of activity around Cancerians out there. This could also be Cancerians that somebody around you has gotten a raise, a bonus, a new job, and they are surrounded by abundance. But overall, this is beautiful, beautiful energy. Let me see if I'm picking anything else up psychically with this card. I am getting the song More Than a Feeling by Boston. So you may want to listen to that song because that's definitely coming up for some of you Cancerians out there. What else am I picking up? Be careful what you wish for, Cancerians. You may actually get it. So that is certainly coming up as well. Let me see if I'm getting anything else. No. Okay. Something about the Rolling Stones as well. Um, and the phrase, um, a Rolling Stone gathers no moss. So that may have something to do with somebody around you, or that might have something to do with you. But there is certainly something um, regarding that. Okay. So what are the energies that have happened that are causing this blossoming abundance? the sun how beautiful cancers the sun so this could be uh leo energy either in your chart or leo energy um, around you so just be aware of that um there could be we do have the sun here but see this lady she's in water sorry that i'm not getting that very focused there we go what a beautiful scene and she is in the water, Cancerians. And so this person actually may be a water sign as well. Could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or maybe they just like water. This person could be moving closer to water for whatever reason. So they could be moving to the coast. They could be moving to another country that is by a coast, like a sea coast or uh, an ocean coast or something like that. Uh, there's something being illuminated. So something is being celebrated here and it has something about somebody being put in the spotlight. So somebody around you may be, be getting put in the spotlight and they're bringing in a lot of abundance or you could be getting put in the spotlight and you're bringing in a lot of abundance. So this could be excellent grades on an exam this could be um, shining at work, definitely. Uh, this could also be uh, a need and a want to travel with a loved one or with family members, but that is certainly coming up here. Something is getting illuminated about abundance. So this could be anything. It could be in work, it could be in health, it could be in love, it could be in family, it could be in finances. So be aware of that energy. You're just soaking up the sun. It's almost like, Cancers, you need to listen to the um, uh, Sheryl Crow song, uh, I'm Gonna Soak Up the Sun. And um, yeah, just 
just listen to that song and I think the energy around you will change. If you haven't had any difficulties, the energy will change when you listen to that song because I am sensing that something might be coming up that gets illuminated, that it makes you very happy, but it is almost like it also makes you alone for some reason, but there's definitely some sort of energy uh, coming up here. So what is the, what needs to be accepted or the advice or just additional information for the next couple weeks? Wow, there it is. Nine of Swords. So what needs to be accepted? The Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords means that you're worried about somebody, that you've got fears in your head about a relationship, a job, a situation, a financial um, situation that you feel it might just go south. Okay, or somebody could be moving south, I just heard. But there's something going on here where you've got this weird fear that is present inside of you regarding this abundance, regarding this illumination, regarding this great reward. Okay, so some of you might be getting promoted and you're like, well, I don't know if I can do that job. Yes, you can, Cancers. Yes, you can do it. All right, get rid of the fear. You shouldn't have these fears. Uh, for some of you Cancerians out there, you could be having a lot of really, really bad nightmares as well. So please be aware of that. But what needs to be accepted is that Nine of Swords energy where for some reason you're going to be worrying about somebody. Somebody might be moving. So for some of you Cancerians out there, you, you could have a, a daughter, a son, a loved one, um, a friend or whatever, and they decide to pick up and move. And you're like, what am I going to do? I, I worry about them constantly. I, I, what's going to happen to them? You know, are they going to meet somebody else? Are, are they, you know, what if they get sick? You know, so on and so forth. And so let go of that fear, Cancers. It's important to let go of that fear. All right, but there is abundance. There is illumination around you, absolutely. But there is something you're worried about as it relates to this abundance, as it relates to this illumination. So, like I said, listen to the song by Sheryl Crow and get your positive energy out there and just work through those inner fears because they're just fears, they're not reality, okay? So you do have Saturn Cancer moving from your sixth house into your seventh house. This could be why I picked up with the Blossoming Abundance. You're so busy with stuff because the sixth house is all about daily duties, health, well-being, your reputation in the world. So there's definitely something going on here where you're just finishing up with that taskmaster energy in your sixth house just to get it straight. Okay, so make sure, Cancers, when Saturn leaves that sixth house, it is straight and narrow, it is put together, it is um, in order, because if it is, you will get a great reward by Saturn um, right around the 20th or the end, the 20th of December or the end of the year. If it is not in order, you will, basically Saturn will say, you did not learn your lesson. You did not get this stuff straight. You're going to have to relearn this lesson for the next 16 to 18 years of your life because I will not be back at this house until that time. So be aware of that. When Saturn moves into your seventh house of romantic partnerships and business partnerships, you are really going to be tested in these areas of your life as it relates to romantic partnerships, business partnerships, Libran people, Capricorn people. So just be aware of that particular type of energy. All right, Cancers, I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste. Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you? It is B. Shuffling, 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 shuffling. What's going on for Scorpios for the general energy and the energies which manifested the current energies that you're dealing with right now? Some of you Scorpios are stuck with something. There's something you're stuck on, something you're stuck with. So be aware of that. I just got that in. OK, 
Okay, cutting the deck. Here is your general energy, and this is the energy that affects or helped to manifest the general energy. And here is the Barbie Airy Tarot. The other deck I was shuffling was the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. So what does the Barbie Airy Tarot have for the Scorpios? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios. This is advice. What needs to be accepted? Additional information. I also pull things in psychically. So, and this is just general energy, guys. This is not going to be broken up into love. And if it ends up being love, just a love reading, then that was the message. If it ends up being fully financial, then that was the message. But generally, I pick up one or two or three uh, different um, different energies or different sections of energies, generally. All right, Scorpios, let's cut the deck. There is the card. Okay, Scorpios, what have we got going on for you for your general energies for the next couple weeks? You do have the thinking man. Okay, I believe that Virgos had the thinking man. I could be wrong, but some of you Scorpios may have Virgo pretty prevalent in your chart, in your, chart, in your natal chart, or you know somebody that is a Virgo that is going through this um, looking, looking at something, you know, being mesmerized by something. This could be psychic energy around you, Scorpio. This could be you tapping into your psychic abilities. This could be somebody else around you tapping into their psychic abilities. Um, this could also be a need to be more analytical. So you need to balance the analytical and the psychic abilities at the same time. This could be an Aquarian, Gem Gem Geminian, <laughs> Libran, uh, female or male. So just be aware of that particular type of energy. But that is definitely coming up here. Um, there is something about, and, and I said it for Virgos, I'm going to say it for you guys, um, something about birds of a feather flock together. I don't know if it was Virgo or was it Capricorn. I can't remember, but I think it was Virgo. But anyway, um, it was one of the earth signs. But something about birds of a feather flock together. Okay, so just be aware of that particular type of energy. You have um, you have a way. It's like you already know if two people or three people or four people that hang out a lot with one another, they have a lot in common. They really respect one another, and it's almost kind of like you're you're looking at that from a distance. You're looking at that from afar, and you're like, wow, they really do get along, you know, or they really do have a lot in common and you're thinking about it and you're asking yourself, do I have that in common with them as well? You know, am I hanging around the right crowd or am I not hanging out with the right crowd? That could be what's going on here. For some of you Scorpios out there, you're just thinking way, way, way too much. It's actually keeping you up at night. Okay, so just be aware of those particular energies. Let me see what else I am picking up from, um, this particular type of energy. Some of you Scorpios out there might be thinking, should I marry this person or should I not marry this person? Um, are they marriage material? Are they not marriage material? There could be something coming up regarding that as well. But what else do we have going on here? There's something about peacocking. And I know that this is going to make sense to some of you Scorpios when you, when I tell you what this is, it is, um, it is when, you know, a peacock, when they're trying to attract a mate, they, their plume just comes out and go like this. But it is also a sign of like narcissistic type of energy, like people in meetings, like when they do this number, you know what I mean? Watch out for those people because what they're doing is they're trying to expand, you know, their, their body so that they look more important or it's a, it's a subconscious thing. So... If they're thinking they're more important than other people in the room, then they'll do that. They're not doing it openly. They're probably one of the nicest people in the world, but subconsciously they think that they're better or they're trying to expand themselves. They're trying to, you know, like they're like a, you know, they're strutting their stuff type thing. So there's this energy uh, with you, Scorpio, that has that energy around it. So just kind of be aware of that. Somebody is telling you, I'm in control, I'm in charge. 
something regarding that particular type of energy. So just be aware of that. So what do we have going on as it relates to what type of energies happened to create the type of energies with this thinking man? Anxiety. So this is where I was talking about earlier that some of you are having a hard time going to sleep because you're anxious about something. Somebody around you might be anxious or you might be anxious. You might be thinking about someone. You might be thinking about a situation. It could be work. It could be love. It could be finances. It could be family. And you have a lot of anxiety. You went through a lot of anxiety or somebody around you went through a lot of anxiety. And now this is putting you in a position where you are now thinking analytically about a situation or they are thinking analytically about a situation in order to bring more illumination to this particular type of energy or this particular type of situation. This could be also where you feel like you were, you were kind of, you were taken off guard for whatever reason, Scorpio, something is taking you off guard. It hit you like um, a bolt of lightning out of the clear blue sky. Um, your, your mind is constantly moving in all these different directions. One minute it's over here in happy land. And then the next minute it's over here. Everything's going to fall apart. Just stay positive. You need to stay positive. Bring that positive energy in from Jupiter. Jupiter is in your sign. But the thing about it is Scorpio, you rule life and death and Jupiter will not only bring you life, but Jupiter will also bring you death. It will make you aware of your own deep seated issues. So that is what I'm hearing. Let me see if I'm picking anything else up here. Scorpios, there's somebody around you um, that um, is thinking a lot about you. And I am sensing for some of you Scorpios out there, this is somebody that wants to be in a relationship with you, but you don't want to be in a relationship with them. This could also be anxiety at work as well. Um, something may have happened where uh, there was some information that needed to be looked at a little bit closer. And looking at that information a little bit closer, you realize there was an error or something like that, and now you're trying to fix it. That could be what's going on for some of you out there. Yep, that's all I'm picking up right now. Um, the ghost of days gone by. I think there's a song about that, the ghost of days gone by. You might want to listen to that song. I don't know who sings it off the top of my head, but... The ghost of days gone by is what I'm picking up. Okay, so what do we have going on, Scorpios, for um, your uh, area of advice or extra information or um, kind of what you need to be aware of? Look at that. You have got the queen of wands. That is one beautiful woman. The Queen of Wands um, is um, generally a Leo, a Sag, or an Aries. But the Queen of Wands in the, in the uh, calendar of tarot, the Queen of Wands generally falls in the third decan of Pisces. So there might be somebody in the third decan of Pisces that is playing a significant role for some of you Scorpios out there. This could be, um, and that would be born between March 10th and March 19th, right around there. But this particular person is so in control, it is like unbelievable. I mean, this person is beyond in control. So this could be a fire sign or a third decan Pisces, but um, they're making it rain is what I'm hearing. And this is causing anxiety with you for some reason. Maybe your spouse is making more money than you are and it doesn't, it, it, it's not sitting well with you for whatever reason. Now, for some of you, you're fine with it. You, you, you know, even if you're, whether you're a man or a woman, you're like, fine, I'll stay home and take care of the kids. You know, I mean, you're just, you're fine with that. But for some of you, it might be causing a little bit of anxiety um, in, your, in your mind. Um, the other thing going on here is that something is hidden you are not being told the entire story 
or perhaps Scorpio, you're not telling somebody the entire story. But there's definitely something coming up here where it's like, you know, like three quarters of the information, but you don't know like that other quarter. There might be something coming up during the quarter moon. So look at when the next quarter moon is going to be. Um, I don't know if it's going to be here in the next couple of weeks, but the next one, look up when the next quarter moon is going to be. Something significant is going to happen at this time. And it's going to send you reeling, like you need to think about something in your head. But um, definitely that type of energy. Now, for some of you Scorpios out there, this Queen of Wands is your energy. You're the one in control. You're the one that's making it rain. You're the one that's um, looking at things from an analytical perspective as well as an intuitive perspective. Maybe you're picking up that somebody is um, trying to trap you in a relationship, trying to trap you, um, you know, get pregnant by you or, or maybe, you know, you're trying to get pregnant and trap somebody else. I mean, but you know what I mean? It goes both ways, guys. That's the thing about these readings. I will say it like it's you, but in order to save time, you have to understand that it also means somebody could be doing that to you. It could be reversed. So in this particular case though, I am definitely sensing for some of you, you are in control and maybe you've got somebody coming in and, and you know they're full of crap and you're like, you know what? I know what you're all about. I know what you're trying to accomplish and I don't wanna have anything to do with that. I'm going to, you know, embark on my endeavor. I'm going to embark on my job, my love, my life, whatever. And you're just going to have to deal with it because I don't have time for you to think and then think again. You want to be with me. You don't want to be with me. You want to be with me. You don't want to be with me. There's some weird type of energy going on here, Scorpio, that I have to be aware of. All right, Scorpio. So what's your Saturn message? Scorpio, your Saturn message is that Saturn is moving from your second house into your third house. When Saturn is in your second house, this is all about self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. Okay, Saturn has really put your nose to the grindstone in this particular area of your life. Now, you need to make sure that this house is clean before Saturn leaves. If the house is clean, then Saturn will reward you. If the house is dirty, then Saturn will make you go through the same lessons for the next 16 to 18 years until he comes back to this house again to teach you more lessons. So please try to get your second house in order, your finances, your budget, whatever it is. If you're spending too much money, get yourself on a budget. If you are, if you are not um, standing in your own self value, get her done, Scorpio. If you're not valuing others, you better change, okay? Um, make sure you're getting paid what you're worth at work, so on and so forth, because Saturn is now moving into your third house of contracts, negotiations, siblings, short distance travel, social media. Saturn is about to enter this area of your house. It is ruled by Gemini, all right? And it is the house um, for you in your solar chart in Capricorn. So there might be Capricornian energy, Geminian energy around you that are going to be teaching you great, great lessons as it relates to your third house. All right, guys, I hope that you like this reading. Remember, Saturn moves out on the 20th of December. So you got about a month to get your second house straight and tidy and get ready for that big reward from Saturn because it is coming. But got to make sure that you don't have any karma coming at you. Just make sure that you're doing, you know, what you need to do to get things on the straight and narrow and you're going to be fine. All right. I wish you much light, much love and many blessings. Namaste.